all right welcome to teak at a bench uh, this episode uh, we wanted to celebrate spb uh, who has recently passed away uh, we want to talk about him his work and how he's impacted us uh, adi is here adi say hello so hi guys so yeah as per i said we want to talk about this legendary uh, i can't even just say singer he's more than just singer he's done so many things he's done voice over dubbing he's a film producer actor but most importantly he's a singer who has done over 40000 songs 40000 and the second place is not very close i think it's at some 10000 and he's done he's been singing for 54 years with in 16 languages and that's a record i don't think is going to be beaten for like in any of our times so yeah we just want to talk about some of our favorite in the 40000 so puri what's and- your what's your pick like uh, you know before we recorded adi and i were uh, we both actually so adi asked me what's your favorite uh, spb song i said one song uh, and then like 2 seconds later i said you know what actually it's not that song it's this song and then adi said mine's this and then like he said you know no 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 this song so like that goes to show the impact this man had right uh, you can't even settle on his defining work or even like his branded work like I it's I I said before the recording when we had this conversation Adi said it's sort of like asking what's your favorite Ilai Raja song the whole point of Ilai Raja it's a body of work but then at the end of the day a lot of people can pigeon pigeon hole him pigeon hole him into uh Tenral and the Tinum Bodu like that's his favorite song that's my favorite song or Nipat one of the two it will usually be the answer right mm. and uh, for me I have like two three songs like that for Ilai Raja but uh the idea is what I'm trying to say is like he has such a massive body of work that's impacted people in so many different ways and but one song or if i have to choose i actually have three songs in my songs so i'm just going to randomly say one song but i think unnai paartha pin banan is a very very uh, is a nice song and I, it's first of all it's a nice song like it's just a nice song you can listen to it any time of the day that's 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 a very important thing for me uh, because i actually don't pay attention to the lyrics in songs i just sort of let it physically transport me to some other dimension and i think that song is completely him i think he's carrying that entire song on his back like because you can the the best the hardest thing about a song for me my opinion is the way it starts i form my initial opinions of a song in the first 3 seconds am i going to listen to this or am i going to like skip like if a new album drops right i will listen, like let's say rajini album drops i listen to the first entrance song allah i'll maybe listen to that three times but any other song i'll play and then if i'm not impressed in the first 3 seconds i'll probably skip to the 30 second mark still not impressed i'll give it a second shot but after that i'm skipping to the next song i'll listen to it when it comes on the radio or something but the thing with unai path the pinbanan you can be in any mood you can be happy sad excited uh it will it it, it starts off at the right uh, right foot and then it takes you transports you and that 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 whole song goes like it flows like water it, it go it, you know it, it go up the hill down the hill and then it just sort of takes you and and since again like i mentioned right, i sometimes don't I most of the times don't listen to the lyrics and i just sort of do something else when i'm uh listening uh, to music and uh that song it had amazing instruments but the best instrument used in that song was definitely spb voice spb's voice just mind blowing stuff yeah adi what about you Uh, for me i i honestly cannot choose uh, which song so i'll just give you like i don't know what do comes to mind uh, definitely one of the for lyrically uh, and the way that the man uses like his voice for comedy and he acts in his in his singing yeah and that is really so well personified in kadali kumpen from kadalan where the song he he actually dances in the in the music video so in that song he 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 is like com- comedic father who's trying to uh, talk about what love is and how is like love changes your perception of the world and perception of the value of things and that's a really beautiful song next for for the for the i don't know the, the pace and the the voice caliber of the man uh paleo se kala kala that that song the instruments and how well his voice flows well with the instruments is like i don't know that song has like like 
the first time I heard that song, I had to listen to like three, four times because that song I could listen to like over and over again and like it's just like unbelievable song. No, and I just want to interrupt you for one second. Like in that song, like the flute, the, you know how it starts like, dun, 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 dun. like that flute segment is amazing. And then like if it was any other song, especially if it's a modern song, there'll be one pause and then it'll look like some the the way he sort of comes in with that flute. This such a nice flow to that, right? He, yeah. Like, I don't think people can vocally match a piece, instrumental piece like that, and then take it on from there. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And then I, I, I especially love the middle segment of this song called "Manil in the Manil in the Kadal Kadalandri." So this middle part, uh, I think Radhika will ask uh, SPB if he, if he can sing the chorus without taking a breath. and he'll be doing it as he walks on the beach and like he really shows his like voice the caliber of man and the caliber of his voice in that song so that those are my those are my songs and i think one of the biggest things like in the beginning you said right he's not a singer that's very true like uh when i think of svb i think of him as a singer i don't even think of the fact that he acted and all but that's the thing he is beyond singing you like Dhoni is not a cricketer. Like, ultimately, yeah, ultimately the guy is a cricketer. Rajinikanth is not an actor. Like, okay, but these people have become cultural icons, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And there's just no, there's just no disputing that. And that's the thing. And I think, first of all, I think we are recognized. A lot of people are recognizing it now. Like everybody, like everybody's whole, like held him to this unbelievable, amazing standard that he deserves, right? And then now that he's passed away, it's just, a, just like a huge shock, and they realize. the godly nature of his work and i think but for me i think uh, when it really hit me i was watching alex in wonderland it's a stand up special by comedian alex and there he mentions uh, he talks about like uh, musicians throughout his childhood and uh, now and he says let's talk about the singers of our time the singers that will be called uh, legends uh, by our uh, by our children he mentions uh, s e sudas and s p b but yes s p b really really like hit me because I am sure my children will be with the relationship I had with Ella Raja is the relationship my children will have with SPB. Hmm. And like True. the the hype uh when uh I think uh, Neelani and Ponvasanam came out the hype the fact that Ella Raja composed it I felt it and I really really enjoyed right and like one of my favorite songs from Ella Raja is is in that is in that album but I I'm really sad that uh the future generation or my children will never experience that spb song mm. that came out like even when suma kiri came out right it was the first like i became a rajinikanth fan during shivaji time like rajinikanth and spb's combos just amazing but and like peter was essentially a teaser right it wasn't a real spb entrance song but i was really really like i was properly a rajini fanatic at the time of like kabali time so suma kiri was so special to me because like it's been the ultimate combo and this is the song at, that's come out in my time so like i'm really sad that my children won't have that spb song uh, that uh, you know that they can look up to and be like spb part yeah yeah i mean yeah i think it's a really sad time but uh, artists don't die uh, they're immortalized to their art and we'll remember that uh, thank you so much for watching and listening uh stop listening and go listen to some svb songs andri parakap